The Road to Carbon Neutral, presented by Tatao Energies. Net zero. It's a phrase we often hear, but what does it actually mean? And why should we care? Every year, humans emit approximately 50 gigatons of greenhouse gases. These gases build up in the atmosphere and slowly cause the temperature of our planet to rise. Left unchecked, the Earth will ultimately become uninhabitable. One way we can mitigate climate change is by reaching net zero. Net zero is when there is a balance between the amount of greenhouse gas produced by human activities and the amount of greenhouse gas removed from the atmosphere. Even though we are pumping huge amounts of emissions into the atmosphere, we are also absorbing them. So for example, forests and grassland naturally absorb carbon. And what we want to do is bring those two together. So actually by 2050, the actual net emissions of each country is actually zero. The three elements, population, energy demand, and GHG emissions, have been growing together in a linear manner. To tackle climate change, what you really need to do is to keep answering to the energy demand of a growing population, and at the same time, reduce drastically our emissions of GHG. This has never been done before. To achieve our net zero goal, globally, we need to reduce our carbon footprint by an average of 50% by 2030. This requires looking at the food we eat, the items we buy, how we keep warm, the power we use, and how we get around. Making a net zero commitment is not a small undertaking. Companies aren't used to making these commitments that are long-term time horizons. But the amazing statistic is it's a large percentage. 40-50% of companies today are, are certainly in the ballpark of making these types of commitments. At the 2015 Paris Climate Summit, nearly 200 countries committed to limiting global warming by delivering carbon neutrality by the second half of the century. We think that we need to cut emissions by about half in the next 10 years to make sure we get to that trajectory of net zero. There is no doubt that the momentum towards a net zero future is building. Supercharged investment from businesses and governments into new technologies and innovations will be key to our success. Every member of the human race has an important role to play. Myth. Global warming is a new thought. In fact, in 1896, Swedish scientist Svante Arrhenius was the first to link a rise in atmospheric carbon dioxide with a global warming effect. However, scientific knowledge on the links between human activity, rising CO2 levels and climate change only developed decades later. If we are to reach a net zero balance, it is vital that we accurately measure our emissions. Digitalization and further use and development of technologies such as IoT, satellite image processing and artificial intelligence can help organizations improve their ability to track and measure their emissions. We also need to utilize technology and improve practices to help us minimize our carbon footprint. There is a myriad of solutions which help high emitting sectors such as energy, transportation, construction and consumer goods to reduce their footprint and reach their net zero goals. Decarbonizing the energy sector is key to achieving a carbon neutral future. This includes mass electrification and a transition from traditional fuels to cleaner energy solutions. Tatao Energies has the ambition to be a global player in this energy transition. This broad multi-energy company has set its sights on becoming one of the top five producers of renewables by 2030. To achieve net zero by 2050, we are transforming ourselves into a multi-energy company, we will invest $60 billion by 2030 in renewable electricity, in solar and wind. Our goal is to achieve 100 gigawatt by 2030 of renewable energy capacity. We are leveraging our oil and gas expertise to really build a, a strong business of offshore wind. We already uh, have big projects in the North Sea, but also in Asia. We intend to provide low carbon solutions to our clients so that we can all together prepare a net zero future. Tatao Energies have set their own ambition to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050 together with society.
In countries like the UK and the US, the transport sector is responsible for emitting more greenhouse gases than any other sector. Ending its reliance on fossil fuels will be key. Already we are seeing an unprecedented demand for electric vehicles. The IEA projects there could be as many as 145 million electric vehicles on our roads by 2030. The construction industry and building operations currently account for approximately 38% of total global energy-related CO2 emissions. Reusing pre-existing buildings using low-carbon building materials and minimizing waste are just some of the ways emissions can be reduced. Small changes can make a big difference. For example, researchers have recently developed an ultra-white paint. This could keep buildings cool and help eliminate the need for emission-intensive air conditioning. Consumers forget that they actually are really powerful. Companies worry about what they're going to choose. Reducing your food waste can also help. A third of all food produced in the world goes to waste. Food waste in landfill rots and produces methane, which is a greenhouse gas even more potent and harmful to our atmosphere than carbon dioxide. Once we've done everything we can to avoid and reduce our emissions, one of the final weapons in our arsenal against climate change is carbon capture. Carbon capture, utilisation and storage involves capturing CO2 at its emission source, such as from an industrial plant. These emissions are transported to storage locations, usually deep underground, stopping it from entering the atmosphere. There are also many other exciting carbon capture technologies being deployed and developed. One such technology is direct air capture, a process which basically vacuums the atmosphere of carbon, which can then be permanently stored or reused to make new products. Carbon Collect has developed a new direct air capture technology in the form of mechanical trees, which don't require energy to power large fans and blowers. The wind delivers ambient air to sorbent tiles in the trees that extend and retract on a constant capture and regeneration cycle. They are a thousand times more efficient than natural trees at removing CO2 from the atmosphere. Evolving net zero from a pledged dream to a sustainable reality needs swift and bold action by governments, companies and individuals. And globally, we must find new solutions to avoid, reduce and capture our carbon emissions. At this vital stage, we must all play our part before it's too late. To find out more, please visit RoadsToCarbonNeutral.com The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Tatao Energies.